What's going on, Fright Fanatics? RC Styles here, welcoming you to the 2022 preseason for MFL Mutant Football League. This year, we're going to be rocking the Evils again, just like we did the first year, well, like four or five years ago. And uh, since it's preseason for the NFL, we figured, hey, let's do a preseason game this year for MFL. And we got Evils going up against the Galaxy Chaos. We are live in outer space riding on a giant asteroid at Sunny Alpha Stadium, home of the Galaxy Chaos. Oh, that would explain the text I just got from Event Horizon Wireless informing me I got five grand in roaming charges. Oh, I wonder how much that text just cost me. Remember, in the MFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Philadelphia Evils go up against the Galaxy Chaos. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, man, nobody can touch you with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV. Oh, that's and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. There was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there, but other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Pow! With the brain scrambler! First and ten. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street ball here, Bricks. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Throws a supersonic missile to his re- Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Second down and four. He's lucky he just get in. That guy's so fast he can strike lightning twice. Talking about the time warp dirty trick that the defense just played. 
still a dumbass, though. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like Grant Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And get the kick is just straight through the uprights. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could it be mine? They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks, it means he can return it for, you know what? Never mind. First and ten. And he fumbles it, Briggs. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. And that'll be second down and four. This is your brain, and this is your brain on berserker drugs. And that is that guy's brain getting crushed out of his head. And he gets three yards on that run. And that'll bring up third and one. The warning sounds only two minutes left in the first half. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay It's 
a way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And that pass is good for about five yards. Second down. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, she that Fritz's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit set. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he'd probably have to intercept it, though. shot extra point but you never know with kickers <laughs> the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies when you get knocked down you got to get right back up and fight uh, what about when you get knocked up what do you do then run At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. And it's the MFL halftime show. Boy, these guys are gonna need to pull off a huge comeback in the second half to win this game. Here comes the kickoff. Rip the coast! Why do we even come back and bother? This is a waste of my time! Yeah. If only one team is going to show up, why should we have to? The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! He's at the 20. He's at the 10. And that's a touchdown. Man, once he saw daylight, he was gone. The kickoff team didn't even know what hit him. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And this guy is one of the best chip kickers in the league. And he just laid into that ball big time. Yeah, like exploding diarrhea. Remember that time in Cabo? Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Second down and five. Blast, dirty 
trick. That ball just broke the sound barrier. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole! Second down and ten. And that's a pass that went nowhere. God, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey. You need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth growing out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something Unique About Yourself. That's unique. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Strange penalty called right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and he don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. Third down and, well, good luck. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. And that ref is dead. You know, maybe they should consider hiring blind refs. But they can save it for them. If they can't see the play, they can't blow the whistle. And if they don't blow the whistle, they don't die. With that logic. And the offense goes into the hurry up formation to try to conserve time. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Win. It's the third.
first and ten. Hey, kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? I do. Join the NFL and try Roid Rage and have your revenge. I don't know what the hell you call all that. That was like an ancient motherfucking half right there. You see that guy running across the top of the heads of the other players? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Oh, and they fake it! Didn't see that coming, did you, Bricks? Uh, I'm not even watching. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Briggs' match stupid time. That's why the girls call me Second down in, and the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. That's a six yard gain. The Galaxy Chaos have lost the game. And I'm out 50 bucks. The score says it all, but it wasn't even that close. They got blown out at home. Fans left by halftime to forget the game and start watching the new Game of Bones on NBO. You know, I watched that on my phone, too. Oh, really? Let's go down to the field and see how badly the MVP rubs it in. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you can fill it. And all right, gamers, that brings us to the end of yet another video. So do me a favor. If you are watching on Twitch, make sure you hit that follow and the share button. It helps out more than you realize. Then I want you to head on over to our main page, which is found on YouTube. Over there, you can see all of our edited videos. Thumbs up the ones you like. Hit that like and subscribe button. Flicker ding dong so that way you don't miss out on more kick ass content from me and the Gamers Purgatory crew. And until the next video, I will be seeing you. Peace. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> what?